Welcome to the Rums of Puerto Rico Las Vegas Open run by Predator Pro Billiard Series. Our next match for today is a strong matchup early in the tournament between Hayato Hijikata from Japan and the South Dakota kid Shane Van Boning. In the commentary booth for this match is another champion, Mika Immanen, and myself, Tim De Reuter. Welcome, Mika. What do you think about this match? Hi, Tim. Uh, nice, nice to be here. Um, and and uh, welcome everybody tuning in. And uh, yeah, definitely th these are two players that have been around for a while. Hijikata, um, lately I've been, you know, I, I played him uh, recently and he beat me the last two times we played. So it's very, it's very methodical. Sometimes a little bit like I'm a slow pace player. He uh, tends to think, but you know, considering it's a TV match and they have they have a shot clock, it's um, it's going to be a different story here. But um, definitely, both of them have plenty of experience. Uh, you know, Shane is Shane. You know, it's it's ten ball. He's always good. I would say he's the favorite, but Hijikata is very capable. Yeah, of course, you're going to favor Shane in this match, like most of the people would do. He is world world class. Hijikata maybe a little under, but uh, we are playing two sets, races to four, and if we tie one each, we'll go to a deciding shootout. Winner break, so many things can happen. Yeah, and uh, looks like uh, Hijikata beat his first opponent 2-0, uh, so he was off to a good, confident start. And... Uh, and would you favor Hijikata maybe a little bit more now you know that he has already been playing a bit today? Right, it's always good to get get a nice warm up match and you know to build your your confidence, get the feel for the table. And sometimes the guy that played the first match and you know the other guy seated, it could be a little bit of a favorite in that sense. Well, the break did not favor him in any way. Dry break for Hijikata and decent opener for Shane, just the shape for the two ball. Yeah, he lost the cue ball a little bit. I'm, not, I'm sure he wasn't trying to do a cop break, but... Um, have you noticed most players are breaking from the side pocket or do you see some guys breaking from the middle? In general, in this format, most of them are breaking from the side, trying to make the one in the side pocket. Right. I feel like and it's uh, yeah. Sure. I, just, uh, I feel like less of a less of a like if the balls don't go in, they could be like clusters. If you're breaking from the middle and you break drive, then more of a chance to sell out. You know the way they spread. Yeah, I think it's a it's a smart way to break. Of course, everybody's used to the center table break, but could not be so effective in this format. So Shane's got some work to do here. Push the seven ball over, which could be annoying in the future by playing the combination on the six nine. Right, he's got to control two balls and get like good shape and uh, you know something funny could have end up happening considering the eight balls on, on the other side if you get if you get funny or land short side on the seven with an angle it could get tricky but shame known to uh, figure figure these things out well this is a tough combination to start the run with It is. It's probably gonna try to like kiss the six again off the rail. Just go double kiss it into it. And he avoided that, so that's not. That wasn't a bad result actually. Yeah, just wondering if he can still miss the seven ball, or he might run into the rail and bump the seven off the rail. I think the angle is gonna take him into the seven. Play a low left around the seven ball. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. But 
it's a good shot and perfect angle on the seven to get to the eight. Yeah, nice smooth stroke. Just cheat the pocket just enough to uh, allow for a, you know, a thicker cut. Yeah, of course, it's brand new conditions. P Predator Apex tables, Predator Arcadia cloth. Always stays new for the whole week, usually. A lot of slides stay till the end of the event. This 10 to open his account, Shane Van Boning. Yep. Yeah, those type of shots, it's just, it was just perfect speed. You can cheat the pocket a little bit and then just float the cue ball down. But if he uh, if he had to move the cue ball a little bit more, like around the table, it could have been a different story. But um... Yeah, m most of the players are going to try and play pocket speed, especially with this much slide, brand new equipment. They're going to play big angles and let the cue ball go natural speed yeah I actually like the way Shane gave himself a little bit extra angle on the six so that he can avoid you know going into the six or messing with it any more than necessary so he was able to play it in the same pocket as the uh, nine so uh, Looks like Shane's going to crush it from the middle. Yeah, well, this is also his thing. You know, we all know that his break from the center is pretty known. <laughs> but we, I'm just, we've I'm just not sure. The, we've been at the receiving end of that. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. Uh, the only thing which is interesting is that I'm not sure if it is the winning break to win this tournament with the referee wrecking the balls which is a way different result than wrecking with the magic rack or the templates. It's, it's true. I, uh, I, I've, uh, you know, I've played a few matches with this format and uh, breaking from the middle, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it works sometimes, but it seems like most often not, so. Well, I don't yeah. really know what he tried to play there. Looked like the cue ball was pretty loose as well, but has maybe left that the, the, nice first yeah, chance. Maybe he caught the one too full and it traveled all the way, you know. Maybe he was trying to catch it a little thinner and just create separation. Well, it must have been, but this is not too bad for Hijikata. If he can get from the two to the three ball key shot. Might it's be queuing over the eight. Yeah, it felt like maybe he landed a little short on that. You know, now he does he is he forced to uh, play with top, and this is this is, requires a lot of a lot of speed, and he's running into the ball. So no bueno. Yeah, yeah, going forward was definitely the more risky risky way of getting to the three ball and can he still nick the three or does he have to try and kick safe i think he can still nick the three ball and not behind the eight yeah it looks like shane's got a chance to uh, play the combination Well, depending on how he feels, you would guess he goes for the combination. Could have also rolled up on the four if he really didn't feel the conditions that well. But yeah, he's, look he's looking pretty solid as a start. This is kind of an interesting shape here, though. What do you do? Like, do you uh, just power draw and maybe uh, yeah. reverse spin off the rail and go towards the middle? Maybe around the six ball. 
Yeah, around the six. Pretty close to it, though. Yeah, I like Sweet. how he's played this. Yeah, it's also if he came up too short with the draw, he would still have the six to the same corner as the three ball. So plenty of options. And he had plenty of room, so... Like I, like I mentioned, he's starting to play well early in the tournament, which usually he starts to play well in the later stages. Yeah. He, he plays better when there's more pressure. <laughs> yeah, this is something most of the people also feel when they watch him. They always m mention the fact that he walks around like he doesn't want to play pool. He looks a little bit not interested in the game that much. And then when he gets to the end phase, he looks way more interested in the game. Yeah. I agree. His expression changes. Yeah. He puts almost a little bit of a frown <laughs> when he's playing better. <laughs> so, stun, air of left, towards the 10 ball. Yeah, good chance for Hijikata to get a first game on the board. Definitely got yeah, a good chance. Well, yeah, I felt like there was more, like he could have even gone into the, the ball that was near the three, like, you know, you know, create a little bit more room for a position, you know, of the two ball. And But he, uh, he landed a little bit short, even just, and that eight ball was hindering his uh, ability to to uh, play the draw shot. So, uh, good for Shane. He's off to a good start here and it's a short set. Um, let's see if he's gonna still break the middle or, I mean, he made a ball. The cue ball was a little bit loose. This was a good shot, shot too on the combo. Eight. Yeah, I mean, I would never change the break if, if it went well last break. Why would you change? He does break good from anywhere, though. Like, he, you know, he could... Let's see how he feels. We're, we're going to see it, see it very shortly. Well, there's there's two ways to look at it. One thing is... He's up 2-0, and um, I don't know why Hijikata is about to break. I I thought it was winner breaks. I mean, is this format? It, <laughs> I am pretty sure it is winner breaks. I think the players are just used to playing alternate, or are we so wrong? I just watched Skyler and Cena, and that was winner break. Yeah, this is new. <laughs> this is new for me. Is there, can we just check <laughs> I, with somebody? Is, is there a, a mistake being made here, or have we changed I the do, format? No, I think if there's a mistake being made here. I'm currently in the rules, so let's figure it out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm also surprised that Shane gave up the break. Yeah, it's winner winner breaks alternate alternative break in sets so Shane gave Hijikata a chance to basically steal this game so yeah I mean it was a good break yeah. Yeah, nothing we can do about it did he give it or did he just like because you know there's three people that do not know the rules here including the referee I just think that everybody just went with it I mean it, it, it sounds strange but sometimes this does happen so Hijikata chance to close the gap a bit it is it is true though that on a, on a short set like this it's usually alternate breaks and that's what that's what therefore the format here can be brutal like if the other guy is on, on a good roll and he's breaking well you know he might not it's a short set and you might not get to the table at all uh, i did that to mark 
how do you say his last name? Bister? Uh... Oh, bi bi yeah, Bicycles. Yeah, <laughs> Bicycles. Okay, I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to him once. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, everybody at this point is capable to do the same thing. Mo or at least many players, they can do the same thing to you. So it's a really, it's it's a coin flip. True, uh, and still, it's been it's kind of surprising how how rare it has been with this format. Well, that, and if you also look at the winners, we oh. He was not trying to bump. He landed it. a little funny. He landed funny yeah. on the six and wasn't able to. He's, you know, he was probably trying to cheat the pocket a little bit more, and he ended up like not, you know, getting the right angle, and, you know, running into the eight. This is the trouble. Yeah, he might have to play safe here. Maybe send the eight, yeah. three rails underneath the ten, and follow the cue ball in between the short rail and the nine. Yeah. Or just that's the yeah. right. Or you could go forward and send the eight to the other side of the nine. Very basic, but yeah, this is always like going to give the easy hit. Yeah, this is this is a very passive safe. Uh, it just like that's too easy to hit. I'd rather create distance and even let the guy see the ball, but leave the cue ball on the back rail and maybe both of them like in the middle of the respective back rails. I saw the same shot you saw, you know, just sending the egg ball to the other side. Yeah, this is now something you would expect yeah. from Shane to come up with. Yeah, this is yeah. a good shot from Shane. <laughs> a bit shocking from Hijikata to leave such an easy kick shot. Well, the only thing I was going to say about the format is that if you look at the winners of the Pro Billiard Series events, most of them are, like, they're all top pros. Like, it's not like a, an, an, an average guy gets up there and gets to the semi-final and nobody knows the player. So, the format True. does work. So, good bank here. Ooh, mm -hmm. hit that thing. Where's the cue ball? Ooh. Quite surprised. He caught, it. he caught it too full, actually. I think he was trying to skin it and uh, create the distance again. Oh, you thought he was playing safe? Yeah. I think so. Well, another chance for Hijikata. And if he wins his wreck, I wonder if they're gonna, if if he's gonna give the break back to Shane. Ooh, needs a little luck. Ooh, it's, it could be semi-lucky. Does he have a? Is he wired to the corner? I think he can still make it. Maybe small messe. Yeah, but small messe. I think you, got, I think you gotta shoot. You gotta go for this, and maybe jack up and try to draw off the back rail even. Oh, that's not a, that's not great. No. Yeah, it was a poor shot from Hijikata. Left Shane almost straight in on the nine. Maybe still a little bit awkward cutting the nine and being on the rail. That top spin is gonna work as well. But should be fine. I believe you can miss the 10 still. Oh, huh. even better. He seems to be uh, surprised with the... I don't know what he was trying. Was he trying to play with the corner I mean, and he just landed perfect to the side? Yeah, he, he looks... It looks to be perfect to the side, so I don't know why he would give us that face, but uh, he's on the hill in the first set. Shane Van Boning. And... Now he did grab his break you. So I really think both players he, believe in alternate could break. Be under, yeah, they, they're under the impression it's alternate break. Uh, and this is rare. I, I have not seen this before, to be honest. 
and on the TV table nonetheless. Yeah, especially with the referee there. So, shame breaking. Let's see if he still stays with the center. I believe so. Yep. Oh, We're nice. Good. Where's the nine? Huh. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate for Shane. Beautiful break, nice cue ball, made the seven in the side and nine balls. Control the one. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, he's looking at pushing to the short rail and then bank the one ball, two rails down table. taking the shot here just banking it like two rails you know maybe the, uh, the only the, risk uh, if you leave the one ball next to the 10 ball near that area you might leave early 110 combination that's the that's only true. thing that could go really wrong here yeah he, he gave it back What about slicing it in? Might go into the five and you know, or near the two, you know, just create another shot. Mm -hmm. He's doing the two rails, not it short. Yeah, it's got too short. He was trying to play it towards you know the four eight and use the two five as a blocker. See if uh, Hijikata can make a statement here. I'm not sure he's gonna like this position either. It just doesn't seem like he's a lot of he has a lot of angle there. Yeah, super straight. Stun follow. Oh. Yeah. Things not going his way. Yeah, at all. So mm. another safety attempt, I believe. Cue ball to the short rail, top short rail. Can't even reach the to nip it, and if he's using the bridge, it's going to be tough to avoid the double hit. And now he might be leaving the, you know, like. A little bit of a carom shot there. If he, uh, uh, this is just. Well, Shane might go for the ten here. Could cut into it if he Why really not? wants. To. Could go and then just send the cue ball to the other side. And, uh, you know. Yeah, it was a good try from Hijikata, but. Cue ball is not that great so far. Could also just play safe and maybe try to just stun the cue ball towards the 10 ball. And play the eight. That's a good shot. Well, look at the shape as well. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Yeah, straight stop shot on the three ball. Yeah, 
Yeah, and this is for the first set. Not looking too happy, but has the balls nicely in the open. Maybe cheat the pocket, draw. And does it go to the other side? Ooh. Okay, pretty wild. <laughs> Yeah, the angle was just funny. He couldn't play the follow because of the 10. Yeah, but played it beautiful. So three balls remaining. Yeah, I just keep the cue ball in the middle of the table. bit straight on the nine but I think he can still cheat and draw a little bit to the left. Yeah. That's fine. So first set goes to Shane Van Boning. Four a zero. Yeah, good form from Shane. He looks like the player that's warmed up. <laughs> Yeah, it's his first match, but doesn't really look foggy at all. Oh, and 100% break success. Well, now that they've played the alternate break format, uh, would it be fair to say that they should stick to it since it's already... Or if somebody lets them know that hey it's winter breaks is it would that be you know what's the what's the situation here <laughs> yeah I'm just just wondering maybe because I believe Shane broke more than Hijikata did so I don't know if there is a difference it's up to them Not a good break, but now it came up dry. Yeah. And maybe just from the four ball to the five could be tricky. It's a beautiful break, <laughs> except for no balls in. It's just the control was uh, amazing. So, one rail back out for the four. But how are you going to get to the five ball? What is the route going to be? Yeah. Let's get fairly straight on this one. It looks like you can just draw straight back. Yeah, I think he's done really good actually getting on the four. Would be a good confidence booster to get out here. Yeah, it's looking a little bit smoother than the first set so far. A little bit faster. Yes. It's maybe also just the shot clock not working out for him the first set. It's a little bit further 
from the seven than you want him to be, and then you have to be careful here not to hit it, not to over hit it or over cut it. And he's lost the cue ball completely. I thought he could have just yeah. slow rolled it, and just you know, just take the shot to the side pocket for the eight. But yeah, it might be the nerves pushing him to play a little bit more firm. Good recovery shots from Hijikata. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, it's not easy. He lost the first set 4-0. And now struggling to run out because his shape is looking interesting yeah, he, here and there. His cue ball is a bit all over. So, 1-0 lead. Hayato Hijikata. Okay, second rack. Last time Hijikata broke was a good break. Let's see if he can make one more. square but nothing went in. I think he's gonna find himself behind a, a ball. Shane can lock him up behind the five ball here. Yep, there it is. hit on the one but open look for Shane would have liked to hit it a little thicker I kind of like going into the nine ball here if you can just you know, that would slow down the two ball from escaping in the oh you caught it Ah, okay. Not something you would expect from Shane. Not at all. Maybe he was expecting a little bit more uh, bite on when he took a little bit of a, uh, a drag shot with a little spin sometimes, you know. But with the cloth being slick, there's something that, you know, you're still getting used to. Is the deflection. Oh, this is a pretty good effort. Yeah, great, great separation. A lot of distance, a lot of traffic. Just, just don't think he's got the cover. Try to slow roll and go behind the eight. 
bit oh, dicey from is. this distance. Or he's going to try to carry the aid in and play it well first. It is quite aggressive. Maybe he doesn't have much else. Yeah, maybe he's just hedging his bets here. Just go for something. And, you know, if the safety is just as difficult, go for a... Oh. So, oh, wow. wow. How did he nudge that one ball to the fin? <laughs> wow. Right? A <laughs> little bit unlucky. Yeah, yeah, he caught it. He caught it way too thin. Just from that... I mean... Be that beautiful. Animal is just so wide. But great creativity, but you know, I ended up with funny. Yeah. Oh. And he's wow. falling. <laughs> Doing some trick shots here. Oh, it needs another one. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Beautiful shots from Shane, three in a row. Yeah. Does the four have room next to the five? I feel like it. He's going to be in a flow state here with this out. In the side, good speed. Not much to do from here. Yeah, textbook. Little stun of the rail. Yeah, Shane is playing strong. Good stuff. A strong out. Yeah, especially from here, you have to favor Shane winning the match. He's been looking stronger, and he's coming up with a couple good shots. Yeah, his cue ball is, uh, he's really keeping it under nice control when he's, when he has the open table. Where are you, Tim, right now, yourself? I'm in the Netherlands, at home. Okay. Yeah. Hello from, hello from New York. We're both doing remote commentary. It's funny because uh, some people were thinking I'm going to be uh, in Vegas and I'm uh, saying that they were looking forward to see me. I'm like, sorry, buddy. <laughs> remote yeah. situation. On the other side, it saves the traveling too and the jet lag and money. Yeah. I don't mind it. Well, I was thinking that you might be playing, you know, you've been playing uh, great lately and you won the, the Dutch championship. Um, that's yeah, uh, it's congratulations. I have, it's an order. Yeah, thanks. But uh, my WPA ranking is not too high. Of course, everything is WPA related, related at this point. I see, yeah. Yeah, mine's. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm really dropping through there. Yeah. Speaking of rank, you know. Uh, 
after this year I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, but you know priorities. But health first. <laughs> yep. So let's see, can he thin the two ball and bring the cue ball back up table or is he gonna tie behind the five ball? I think I like my first option better, but he's looking low. Oh, he can make the two. The two, that's, that's a touchy shot, but you know, it would be a uh, ballsy. Oh, but he put a very, sh very short stroke on that. I think he's hooked himself. Yeah. Yeah, like I mentioned, it's not like Hijikata is playing horrible. Just his cue ball is not where he wants to be. And he has not called a three ball on the side. And look what he's given Shane. Yeah. and draw it straight back. Dude. Yep. So maybe six to the seven, if you get straight enough on the six, should be fine. Straight enough, and even you can touch the ten ball a little bit on the draw and still get you know, to the right side for the seven. Just needed like a nice power stroke. It looks like you could be able to just cheat the pocket as well. And draw it straight back. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> so close, but it has worked out. <laughs> this is to take the lead in the second set for Shane. Only two more games remaining to get to the next round. see anything major up that six up maybe one in the first round where uh, Skyler lost to uh... yeah it's uh, I watched a bit Skyler struggled most of the first set the second set played a lot better and then in the shootout he's missed one I believe the last one and the other guy made four so good job yeah. for if his name was Sina. Sina Bali Zadeh from Iran. Yeah. Good for him. I, I'm not familiar with this person. Has he been, uh, has he played the Predator events before or? I, I don't recall actually. I don't think I've ever seen him before. But a uh, strong win over Sky. Absolutely. So now again, Shane winning the wreck and gifting the break to Hijikata. Yeah. Might as well resume the same format that they used for the first set. Just, uh... Well, he's made a couple balls on the break. Two balls on the break and at least something on the one ball. Yeah, but what do you do from here? I might play the one ball to the bottom short rail. I one might even go ball. for the pen here. You know, just just play yeah. play safe, snip the one, and then uh, leave the, the one ball. Uh, you know, I think that's what yeah. he's going for. It's called the ten oh, ball. Oh, he's playing one into the ten. And leaving the cue ball on the other side. Um, okay, that's that's another way to do it, but I like the other way around. I just don't want to leave the object ball. Always oh, he's leaving the object ball. Like, played a different shot completely. 
That's not a bad result, actually. Yeah, I was just looking at getting the cue ball behind the nine ball more. I just like offense and the, the situation where you can play safe and have a chance to make the 10. I don't know. That's just the way I look at it. When you yeah. want to turn to the ground. Yeah, especially Hijikata has to do something in this match. This was maybe a chance. It's a, not a bad safety. And mentally, he has to not only, you know, try to win this set, but prepare, mentally prepare. If you do win the set, you know, prepare for yourself for the shootout. <laughs> oh, look at this. I that am not, funny. yeah, he, that's not what he was trying to do, but certainly worked. <laughs> that was rare. So he's called the two ball. But it was just in case and yeah, I mean, it, it is okay. You're not selling out, but it's not. It's not great because. Defense. Yeah, I feel like Shane just go for this, and then maybe if he can uh, clear the seven and just leave himself a long shot on the two, uh, he, he might as well just go for this, right? Uh, it's tougher to play safe. Yeah. Uh, it worked well, out. Maybe, maybe a little two way. It was tricky with seven there in the middle. Looks like you might have to play a little bit of a mass save to get the one thick enough to you know, uh, not sell out the corner. Yeah, I don't really believe he can kick one wheel. Or maybe underneath. he catch it thinner, even. And, oh, no, no, he has to go two rails. This is, I guess he's called the 10 just in case. Um, I would go in between the rail and the one like that, but then, yeah, well, he's missed the one. Yeah. Yeah, this is to get on the hill for Shane. Things not looking great for Hijikata. Hijikata, who finished quarter finalist in the World A-Ball Championships this year. Shane winning in that same year. So, for sure, a good player, just not, uh, not happening for him at the moment. Yeah, he hasn't been, uh, never got into a groove this match struggling with just uh, the cue ball cue ball speed and Shane's playing you know pretty much typical Shane speed where he's just in a good flow and breaking well and, and making some trick shots on top of it <laughs> it's hard to uh, pump yourself up Yeah, and Shane's speed has just been a lot better. Yeah, he's showing that he could possibly take the title here this week. Absolutely, he's, uh, he's a threat. It's a threat to win, and he looks like he's actually uh, enjoying himself. What's not to love, though? You know, uh, he's playing well. He's, he's cleared some like really tricky outs and uh, breaking well. And it's just all good vibes. Yeah, he's on the hill now. Three-one, Shane and Barney, and. 
Also, he's playing in the lovely arena. There's a, always a big crowd here in Vegas. Many players. I think over four or five thousand people in this building. What more is there to love? Yeah, look at the break statistics from Shane as well. 60% is a high in this format. Yes. And that run out win percentage, 65% over 25% is, is one of the reasons why he's, uh, he's up 3-1. Calls him out. Yeah, yeah. So far, so he and he's got shape on the one. And I also believe he can hold the cue ball. Doesn't have to go to the other side. Yeah. Does he go under the two? He was able to hold it nicely. Yeah, maybe getting on the four ball. If he could get to the short side. Yeah, four is tricky. Maybe he has to play for the three in the corner. I, mean, I don't know if I like the side because you're... Unless you can just hold the cue ball here. I would say he could kill the cue ball here and go off the short rail to the short side of the four. Yeah, bank. Especially Guarantee if he banks bank. it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And I'll just play a little bit of a stun draw. You know, touch draw. Yeah, maybe under bit. stroke. Yeah. I mean, it's not horrible, could still get to the center of the table. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, making things look easy. But don't forget, this is his first match. So showing up cold and playing like this. Good sign. Nice stroke there, a little bit too close for comfort, mm -hmm. but he, he's he's okay. He's okay still. He just has to move the cue ball a little bit more than he wanted to here, but just to go crisscross, I think. Well, can he not hold the cue ball along the opposite long rail, low left? I think he can. I think he should be. Yeah, he if can. If he makes it seven, yeah. The overhead looked like it was a little thinner, but then, you know, there it was uh, just fine. Strong performance yeah, so from Shane here. Two real shape for the nine, I believe. Yep. I mean, textbook pull. Shane is ready to close yep. it out here. Bit of a storm and warning from Shane. And then this stem ball get to the next round. Shane Van Bonen beats Luigi Kata 2-0 in sets. So this was Mika Imanen and myself, Tim the writer. Thank you all and make sure you stay tuned because we have plenty more action to come. Thank you. Yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Thank you, Tim. It was a pleasure. Uh, dominant performance from Shane. Um, looking forward to do more of this stuff with you in the near future. Yep. See you guys. See ya.